सर्वे वेदा यदमती तपांसी सर्वाणी चदी यदिच्छंत ब्रह्मचर्य चरती तत्ते पदं संग्रहेण ब्रवीमी ओम इति ओंत नमस्ते टू ऑल रिसेंटली माय आचार्य वाज आस्किंग अ ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन टू वन ऑफ हिज डिसेपल he asked that what is your name so in the process of diksha my acharya was asking to her what is your name she told her name my name is so and so then my acharya asked who kept your name and she said my parents my acharya said see you have parents so your parents have kept your name but almighty god does not have parents so the name of almighty god is kept by almighty god himself in the vedas and revealed in the vedas inside the heart of the four rishis when he gave the knowledge of the vedas at the start of creation so god reveals his name god reveals his qualities his attributes his actions god reveals everything about himself through the vedas inside the heart of the rishis when they attain samadhi so the name of almighty god is so mighty because it is kept by god himself so when i was reading this upanishad shloka sarve veda yat padama mananti nachiketa is asking about brahma vidya about secrets of almighty god secrets of jeevatma what happens after death etc etc to yamacharya and yamacharya is giving the knowledge about almighty god first and amacharya is telling about the name of almighty god he says sarve veda yat padama mananti sarve veda means all the four vedas padam amananti means again and again all the four vedas tells about the greatness of one pad we can say one pad means one word here watch here yat padama mananti tapamsi sarvani cha yat vadanti that means a person is doing various kind of tapasya in his life somebody is shrutam tapah listening vedas danam tapah somebody is doing dan to acharya somebody is doing yajna somebody is doing swaha somebody is doing simran meditation etc etc so many type of tapasya they are doing in the life the objective of all the tapasya is that pad is that param tatva yadi chanto brahmacharyam charanti a person is controlling his senses is controlling his mind is controlling his intellect and he is keeping strong celibacy is keeping the vrata of brahmacharya in his life towards that objective and what is that objective yamacharya says tatte padam sangrahena the that that padam is nothing but om iti etat it is om it is that almighty god whose name is om it is that almighty god who has kept his name himself and has revealed through the vedas and it is called as om and i have explained the meaning of om in english as written by my acharya in the website vedamandir.com you can go through my channel playlist and in the, inside the playlist havan or homa you can find the name of almighty god the meaning of almighty god om virat agni vishwa akara hiranya garbha vayu tej ukara ईश्वर आदित्य प्राज्ञेन मकार सो ओम इज मेड फ्रॉम आ ऊ म एंड देन ईच आ ऊ म हैज गॉट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एट्रीब्यूट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑफ ऑल मेटी गॉड सो दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ एंड दैट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज नन अदर देन ओम नचिकेता दिस इज द ग्रेट सीक्रेट विच यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड नचिकेता एंड just to attain that om what you have to do you have to do tap you have to do tapasya what is tapasya tapasya does not mean to stand on water to sit on water and meditate tapasya does not mean to sit on fire tapasya does not mean to run on fire tapasya does not mean to sit on you know uh, heated iron or standing on nails etc etc tapasya means shutam tapah dam tapah danam tapah swadhyaya tapah listening about that almighty god listening vedas from that acharya who has attained that almighty god is tapasya shutam tapah danam tapah donating donating clothes donating money donating food whatever possible whatever is needed to an acharya donating to that acharya is also tapasya 
स्वाध्याय तप डूइंग एवरी डे नेम जॉप ऑफ ऑलमेटी गॉड इज स्वाध्याय तप दट इज तपस्या द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ तपस्या द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मेंटेनिंग ब्रह्मचर्य द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग द सेंसेस इज नन अदर दैन ओम दैट इज द नेम ऑफ ऑलमेटी गॉड ओम एंड दैट ऑलमेटी गॉड इज सुप्रीम एंड ही इज सुप्रीम सहारा ही इज द वन विच हु गिवस अस द सहारा मींस हियर प्रोटेक्शन God protects those who are worshiping him every day by agnihotra God protects every everyone who worships him by name jap God protects everyone who does agnya God protects everyone who does dana who does tapasya every day as per the vedas God will not protect anybody else who does not follow the vedas if somebody is getting the protection it is of course due to their own previous janma karmas but special protection is only to them who is worshiping that almighty god om Om iti etat, and then further, Yamacharya says beautifully, etad alam banam sreesto. Alam banam means Sahara that I explained to you. And further, etad deva aksharam brahm. That Almighty God Om is aksharam. Aksharam means to get destroyed. Aksharam means he never gets destroyed. He is beyond death. He is beyond birth. He is neither created. He does not have parents. His name is kept by himself. His knowledge. is revealed by himself to the rishis and that knowledge is of his knowledge he is the originator of the knowledge his name is called as om whereas you nachiketa you are not almighty god people vedantis say that everything is almighty god you are almighty god i am almighty god no here emacharya says na jayate na jayate mriyate va vipaschitta नायम कुतश्चिन्न भभूव कश्चित अजो नित्य शाश्वतो अयम पुराणो न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे आफ्टर स्पीकिंग अबाउट ओम ही स्पीक्स अबाउट द क्वालिटी ऑफ जीवात्मा जीवात्मा न जायते मृयते इट डजन टेक बर्थ जीवात्मा इज नेवर बॉर्न एंड मृयते मीन्स जीवात्मा इज नेवर यू नो इट विल नेवर डाई इट विल नेवर गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड इट इट डज नॉट हैव पेरेंट्स इट इज स्वयं भू where but ajo nitya it is nitya it is eternal ajo means it doesn't take birth but it attains the body based on his karma that means na hanyate hanyamane sharire the sharir gets destroyed upon the death of a person sharir sharire the sharir will get destroyed whereas the jeevatma does not get destroyed the jeevatma takes the birth as per its own karmas this is the difference between om paramatma and jeevatma Jivatma is also swayambhu paramatma is also swayambhu jivatma also does not die paramatma also does not die jivatma also does not have parents paramatma also does not have parents but jivatma holds the body paramatma does not hold any body paramatma does not take birth in the body jivatma has to take birth in the body until moksha this is the difference between jivatma and paramatma nachiketa please understand this secret and further he says अनोर अनियान महतो महियान द जीवात्मा इज अणो इज सूक्ष्म इज लाइक अ अणु इज लाइक मोर लाइक अ ऐटम स्मॉलर दैन अ ऐटम जीवात्मा वेर एज अनियान परमात्मा इज फर्दर सूक्ष्म जीवात्मा फॉर एग्जाम्पल जीवात्मा इज अ वायर परमात्मा इज द करंट द करंट परवेड्स द वायर द वायर के नॉट परवेड द करंट बिकॉज परमात्मा इज मोर सूक्ष्म दैन जीवात्मा महीनात्मा सय जंतोर्निहित गुहायाम वेर इज परमात्मा रिसाइड्स परमात्मा रिसाइड्स इन साइड द जीवात्मा इन साइड द जीवात्मा वेन द जीवात्मा रियलाइजेस इट सेल्फ इट विल रियलाइज दैट आई एम जीवात्मा एंड इन साइड मी इज परमात्मा बिकॉज परमात्मा रिसाइड्स इन साइड द जीवात्मा दिस प्रूव द त्रैत्वाद कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द वेदास त्रैत्वाद मीन्स थ्री एटर्नल एंटिटी इज जीवात्मा परमात्मा एंड प्रकृति प्रकृति इज द नॉन अलाइव मैटर फ्रॉम विच दिस यूनिवर्स गेट्स क्रिएटेड द शरीरा गेट्स क्रिएटेड बाय प्रकृति द जीवात्मा एंड परमात्मा आर एटर्नल चेतन तत्व एंड कटोपनिषद आल्सो प्रूव्स द एटर्नल वेदिक त्रैत्वाद एंड द अनडिस्प्यूटबल वेदिक त्रैत्वाद तमक्रतु पश्यति वीत शोको दातु सी हियर वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दट tamakratu hu akratu hu means one who is beyond the karma phala if somebody is doing a karma if somebody is doing an action without expecting the result of that action then he gets into moksha stage after getting into the moksha stage 
then he realizes the jivatma he realizes the paramatma and wha- how it happens is datuhu prasadat mahimanam atmanah atmanah means here paramatma because of the prasad because of the kripa of almighty god because he believes in almighty god he does every deed without expecting the result then the almighty god will do kripa then the almighty god will give him all the knowledge that is necessary to attain moksha so what we must understand is we must do deeds without expecting the results we must just focus on kartavya karma moral deeds serving acharya daily worship daily sandhya vandana daily agnihotra daily name jap of almighty god daily maintaining the senses controlling the senses brahmacharya etc etc without expecting that we will get a result result is awarded by almighty god we must leave the result to almighty god when this happens almighty god will do kripa on us almighty god will do special grace on us and because of his special grace we will attain moksha thank you so much namaste om